Hi, I am Harsh Vardhan. You can visit my website harshvardhanart.com for some exciting stuff and to know more about me by clicking on the link above. You can download the exercise files for this tutorial as well as other tutorials. Welcome to this episode. In this episode, we'll be taking this photograph and we will convert this photograph into something like this, which is more vibrant and colorful and it, it is more appealing to the eyes using this bokeh or background texture. So let's get started. Let's bring this texture. Let me close the previous one. Let me close this effect and now let's come out to this texture. So let's bring in the texture on this image. This is the texture which I have opened in the Adobe Photoshop. And if you have not downloaded this, you can download it from my website by clicking on the link above as well as from the link in the description. And I would suggest you if you want to accelerate your learning, then you must follow along with me with these exercise files or you can use your own images. So choose the move tool by clicking here or you can press B on your keyboard and just click and drag over here and it will come over here. Now close this one since we do not need it. Now come over here and change the layer blending mode. Let's change it to the screen and press and come back over here. Now you can see immediately we can see the difference but there is still a problem with this image like you can see this is a black spot which we need to remove because it is not looking good and we will increase some sharpening from this flame area and all that so in order to do that let's create a new blank layer change the layer blend more back to the normal all right and now choose the stamp tool from here clone stamp tool or you can simply press s on your keyboard and now take the sample from here and start painting over here in order to remove this black spot you need to make sure that Opacity is 100, flow is 100%, and this one sample is changed to all the layers from current layer. If it is only the current layer, which is by default, you must change it to the all layer. So, in that way, it will take the sample from all the layer, not from only the, this one, because nothing on this layer. So, we need to take the sample from all the layers. All right. So one problem is fixed and now if you, you want you can even further refine it and now let's select both the layers and press Ctrl E to merge them and now you can come over here change the layer blending mode to screen okay and now it is done but since you can see let me show you it has even Lightened the details on this flare. Okay, you can see from here. So we need to remove that. So in order to do that, what we'll do, we'll create a layer mask on this layer. You can come over here and you can select this button, layer mask, and a layer mask is created. If you press Alt or Option, then it will create a black layer mask which will hide the entire layer. But we don't want that. We want only the selective part of the layer to be hidden. So let's take a brush. Make sure that brush is soft as brush. You can see. Select it from here. Sizes. You can select the size you want. And hardness to zero. Okay. And make sure the opacity is 10%. Let's change the opacity to 10%. You can even change the opacity 
by pressing 1 on your keyboard. If you press 1, it will change it to 10%, 2 to 20%, 3 to 30%. You can see, and 4 to 40%, 5 to 50%. And if you press 0, it will change this back to the 100%. So let's press 1 to make it 10%. And now make sure you choose the black color from here. Right. If it is not black, press D on your keyboard and it will convert into the default color. If you have selected some other color, then it will convert to the default color. You can press X to flip it over. Like, let me show you properly. Press X, it will flip over these colors. Or you can click this arrow also, which will flip the colors. Right. Now, let's make sure you select the layer mask if you are selecting this one like let me show you if you select this un, uh, inadvertently if you select the main layer and you start painting over here you can see uh, sorry you can see that this is affecting the layer itself okay but we don't want that so in order to do that let me undo that and make sure I have selected the layer mask this time. Okay. And slowly we will start bending over here on this on this part of the candle so that the details of it becomes more visible. Okay. And let me zoom it out by pressing Control or Command 0 on your keyboard and make little bit over here and uh, now you can see the effect is almost ready but there is one problem and that problem is that you can see these bokehs you can see all these bokehs these are very sharp so they are not mixing with the background like these bokehs these are very blurred and these are very sharp so we'll make them blurred so that they look that they are the part of the image of the that texture 